of Century Organic Light. I'm going to serve for inviting me. So um, I will present um, a tool which, uh, based on uh, graph theory to, uh, to study uh, ancient iconography. I have to say that uh, the idea first was not mine, it was the idea of Craig Alexander from Cambridge. Then we uh, worked together and uh, I developed uh, informatic uh, computer methods and programming to, uh, to make it uh, more easy. So let's go. Um, I, will, um, I will expose the problematics and objective of my uh, work, uh, the, the taphonomy of images. Let's say that's two kinds of images of support. Support with uh, images where all images are contemporaneous from each other. Um, another uh, kind of um, set of images where the, graph, the, the iconography is not uh, so, can not be um, contemporaneous. It will be more clear than the other sites. Uh, it's a case of uh, study of uh, compositions of images and um, what uh, I want to, to, uh, to develop more. Uh, so, uh, two definitions and one observation. Um, I, uh, I take the definition of uh, social organization as a, as a system, uh, as um, the, the correlation of uh, three uh, subsystems, political, economical, technical, and symbolical. Images in, um, in these systems uh, images are the most common archaeological remains of the symbolical system. And uh, I, what I call the symbolical system is uh, some re uh, repetition in, um, in, um, in iconography which are standard, standardized and recurrent. Okay, in almost, uh, almost the study of ancient iconography, there's a lack of uh, Modernization, since uh, people, most of people, start from description and then go directly to interpretation. And then when there's uh, statistics, this is rare, this is occasional, and uh, uh, often it, uh, it's not uh, it's not do, do well. So my objective are to study different kind of. Uh, Images, whatever they are, on the ceramics, on the painting, uh, rock art, or statue. To give a precise definition of what is uh, significant, because uh, in almost uh, ancient iconography, uh, exception, exceptional images are uh, said to be uh, significant. Why? By definition, exceptional is out of the distribution. So, I stay on my definition of a uh, system. The system is a set of standardized images. I want to uh, compare different uh, imagery systems in the, in the same time, in a synchrony, and I want to study the evolution of an uh, of, uh, of, uh, imagery system in the time. So that's my objective. To, 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 to reach this objective, I have to construct a tool that allows me to, uh, to, uh, to study, uh, to, uh, to realize more on this objective. And uh, another definition, what I, a graphical unit is, uh, is, uh, is a picture, is a um, graphical unit, sorry to, to give a this recursive uh, definition. There's this continuity between unpaint or ungraded uh, surface and graded surface. So continuity and discontinuity in, uh, in imagery is really important for, for, for example, this kind of uh, this kind of information is really hard to, uh, to study, even with a shape analysis. between uh, two uh, graphical units implies that uh, the unit A and the unit B, if they are in association, they are contemporaneous and their meaning is more than the meaning of A and the meaning of B. <coughs> Take it separately. Also, if you have A, B, 3 and both are contemporaneous, if it, they are in this disposition, A, if 
A and uh, C are associated, A and B are associated also. This is a special continuity when they are contemporaneous. <coughs> Taphonomy of images, as I said, there's two kinds. There's in an ensemble flow, you can, uh, you can figure out that all these decorations have, have been made in the same time, so you can analyze it as it is that were associated. And also, there's what I call open site. It's, for example, rock art. In uh, a lot of cases, rock art had uh, show different type, different uh, periods of engravings. <coughs> for example, here you've got uh, a, a yoke that cover. This is not the line that uh, covers the yoke, but the yoke that covers the, the line. And here you've got. Uh, you have different phases of engraving also. So let's uh, regard to the deposit. So close uh, ensemble flow, close flow uh, set. <coughs> they, they are studied uh, study uh, with a common variation. And uh, by close dating, uh, here you have got the, the grace, and here you got the. Uh, the, the type of the type of uh, of roots or finds find in the graves, so you can make simulation and you uh, you can you can see a revolution from uh, from uh, this this kind of uh, decoration is triangular and double with double uh, double, uh, double points to a uh, single uh, single lines and uh, less rigorous. This is Lunula Malayak. And open site, uh, you can do also uh, just apply the same uh, the same um, the same things. It's meaning uh, uh, linear regression, uh, spatial analysis, <coughs> correlation, uh, uh, multifactorial analysis. You know, you've got a good man effect, and you can put uh, all these together. Uh, Surreal position comparison with archaeological agreement, study iconography, compare iconography. Uh, to, uh, to uh, existing, uh, existing, for example, tools like Alberts or Tigers and so on. But doing this, you, you, you advance in the, the chronology, but you, you, you don't know nothing about the meaning. So the meaning is not reachable by definition, not readable, but you can understand the graphical syntax and that's the point of my presentation. So, we'll study the first. First, as the first uh, example, in uh, most of the case, uh, oh, in most of the case, uh, a decoration is uh, is seriate, uh, is uh, uh, the archaeologists recognize a uh, different kind of decoration, and uh, here he he, uh, he select uh, two triangular like this and two triangular like that, and he give this number number one set to this decoration. If this decoration appear in uh, in this report, it's quantitative one or uh, qualitatively or quantitatively. And after this is yet and sometimes only sometimes there are statistical analysis. See if there's a mistake. Yeah. But what about uh, the relationship between uh, between this? They are lost during the process of analysis and the granularity of the iconographic analysis. Why? Does the archaeologist have to choose this, uh, this pattern? We don't know. The archaeologist here is uh, Jean Guinel, the uh, historian. <coughs> so I have, uh, we have to, to, to respond to this, uh, to this, uh, uh, to this, uh, this question. This question. And uh, for the study of the second proposition. So, to, to see first to see if uh, the, the graphical units are associated together, are contemporaneous together, well, there's uh, only, according to me, there are only two uh, two two domains, uh, only for emphasic uh, uh, quality of the images. This is typology of technology. So the, the postulate in uh, statistics is uh, the unimodality of uh, period of realization of anyway that allows to do serious. So if uh, 
if the if the if the geographical units are similar te uh, technologically and typologically, they are uh, you can you can gather them in a single event, an archaeological event. <coughs> And the distribution in uh, most of open sites are a uh, weak tendency of avoidance. They are made, displayed on the, on the surface without a lot of organization. So as I said, if A and B are uh, associated, uh, A is only associated if uh, B is associated to A and B is associated to C. Okay, alors je vais vous this. Um, after I, uh, I clean, I clean the, the drawing, so I neutralize the uh, I neutralize uh, the background, the support. But we can do here. We can do a special analysis in uh, anisotropic uh, anisotropic uh, TEM also, but by a simple processes. I think it's open. The process, the, the, the procedure open or closed. I don't remember in chamber analysis. There's uh, this uh, all this small. Small uh, slides disappear, and after I pol polygonize the here, I make a threshold on black and white, and I polygonize the black, so this is shell part, <coughs> and uh, then I use a decent polygon here, uh, overloaded the uh, polygon. There are two dual uh, dual methods. So as I said, here we, we've got uh, here we've got the, the topological connections of uh, the topological connection inherited from this. If two polygons uh, share more than one point, they are uh, no, share one point, they are they are together. They are linked. Uh, and then this is uh, the the uh, the planar graph. And this is, this is also a geometric graph. And uh, this, from this, you can study the study uh, by graph theory, uh, as uh, as presented a lot of time in this uh, congress. Graph theory allows uh, uh, a lot of uh, <coughs> information. Algorithm uh, modularity. So the, uh, the algorithm uh, allows to recognize three groups of uh, of engravings that you uh, So I will now go further in technical uh, in technical aspects because I won't uh, I won't show uh, I won't show results. I still yet I I'm still uh, developing the, the tool. So. Uh, I will uh, I will give you information on how to do it uh, maybe uh, once. That's the different application I use since uh, the drawing was made. I've uh, used Imagic to, uh, to to erase the lines. And uh, after uh, to polygonize uh, the black, uh, black and white, the black figures, I use uh, uh, a library of Python called uh, OpenCV. Um, after the, this is actually this is problematic to me because uh, actually in most of uh, spatial analysis, you can only do a decent polygon from points and not from surface. And for this, uh, so, I will, I will, so I realize it with ARGIS. But I, uh, as I said, I want to. Uh, I don't want to use uh, this anymore. And uh, the network has been done with uh, library networkings from Python, and this export is from Giphy because uh, I have not any enough time to to do it with network properly for the language. That's uh, that's how it, uh, how I do it, and um, now uh, I will show. How I want to do it. So let's take this Python OpenCV allows to, uh, to do a shape analysis. And um, <coughs> OpenCV permits also the polygonization. 
And now uh, for the spatial partition, I have, I think I will jump with uh, Pogist and uh, also different uh, library of Python, Matplotlib, uh, um, Shipley. Uh, Matplotlib is a graphical library, really useful in uh, uh, based on NumPy and SciPy, and uh, really useful. And Shipley allows to uh, to to manage SciPy. Uh, uh, like uh, Fiona, for example. And uh, GEDAL and OGR uh, from OSGO uh, allows to, uh, to treat uh, raster images. So there's probably in uh, this, uh, this solution. And the, the end of the, the treatment will be done with uh, the techniques. So we, are, we, we start from this and we are arrived there. And, uh, all the all the treatment can be uh, automated. Okay. <coughs> and uh, here you can uh, in the for the images you can uh, you, you can do also shape analysis because each one now each one is a polygon. So they are individualized and you can uh, give them value to their form. Shape analysis. So uh, we will have more time for the question. This was, this was my, my last uh, my last slide. Thank you.